Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the non-parametric comparison. As all of you know, that non-parametric uh, comparison or uh, distribution or test, uh, it is a statical procedure in which the data uh, uh, that does not meet or match a normal distribution. And uh, the data that you are used in the non-parametric test is frequently uh, of ordinal data type, and uh, this uh, shows that it doesn't depend on arithmetic properties. And as a result of this, all tests involving the ranking of data are non-parametric, as well as no statement about the distribution of the data is made. Uh, so coming to this uh, non-parametric comparison, um, there are a lot of data. Uh, sorry, there are a lot of data. Uh, for example, discrete data. There is a continuous data. There is a nominal data. There is ordinal data. So uh, let me define what it means uh, discrete, continuous, nominal, ordinal, or ratio. For example, discrete data is a discrete data, uh, a type of data that uh, takes only the exact values. Some of uh, example of discrete data are the number of flights in an hour, the bag size of the employee in the company, the number of cars, or the number of uh, roses uh, in the plant garden. So such type of uh, data we may refer as a discrete uh, data. While the continuous data is unlike uh, for the discrete data, continuous data can take any uh, numerical value. For example, the length of um, the road or the mass of the cake, or maybe the time taken by a person to uh, finalize his um, job, and etc. The other one is a nominal data. Nominal data refers to data that is organized in terms of a category or name. Uh, that means nominal data also it is non-parametric data. For example, uh, uh, the color of the uh, people hair, maybe the gender, maybe religion, or maybe the size, or, or fat, or thin, or the character of individuals can be expressed as what? As expressed as nominal. While as the non-parametric, um, uh, sorry, uh, while as the ordinal data uh, deals with the ranking of items in order, and it is a comparison of two or more items. For example, you know, finding the difference between the first, the second, the third, etc. onwards. And uh, ordinal data is also uh, non-parametric. Uh, for example, very happy, happy, unhappy, or just strong feeling, like strongly like, neutral, dislike, strongly dislike. Such type of data can categorized as ordinal. While the last two is interval and ratio, interval is also referred as the integer, and uh, it is a type of data uh, for which the measurement can be calculated and the difference in the size can be compared. For example, the dates, mm, the hotness or coldness of things, maybe temperature, uh, or, the, or the years. Uh, while the last is ratio, ratio is similar to the interval data, but it gives information with respect to an absolute zero. It can be multiplied, it can be divided. Examples of ratio are the mass, length, distance, speed. So, so it will be categorized under the uh, ratio. ratio. So there are a lot of uh, examples that are using for non-parametric comparison. For example, one is Wilcoxon signed rank test, which is usually compared to dependent sample. And also the Mann Whitney U test, uh, also used for comparing or comparison of two independent samples. Friedman test, also comparing three or more different samples. While uh, uh, Kruskal Wireless Edge test, also comparing or used for the comparison of three or more independent samples. So today we will focus briefly on the Kruskal Wireless. Uh, method and uh, we will see how to compare using this uh, method. The Kruskal Wallis edge test is a non parametric statical procedure that are used in for comparing more than two samples that are independent, so it's not to be used to compare two uh, samples. So, this parametric is, uh, it is 
uh, equivalent to this test in the one way of analysis. That means ANOVA. So, but uh, as you know that ANOVA is more preferable when the data is normally distributed. But here, the critical analysis can be performed uh, without the data being normally distributed. So, this test is generalization of the Mann-Whitney test. It is that uh, for nine whether the two samples chosen are taken from the same population. And at the same time, the p-value for both critical values in the Mann-Whitney uh, test are equal. However, this method uh, is used to, in a sample to evaluate the degree of association unlike that of uh, 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 Mann-Whitney test. So, uh, whenever you're just using the crucial Wallis test, it's liable to be performed when the different samples of the data must meet the following criteria. For example, uh, it, it should be come from the similar distribution, and uh, at the same time, data in each sample should be greater than 5, and uh, uh, the, it, should, it should have the same shape of distribution as the population, and data can and must be ranked. So let's quickly jump to the non parameter comparison. Uh, first, you have to run here Agricole, uh, then also uh, this is the data corn, which is found in the Agricole package. So you have to run this one, and also let's see the structure of our data, what looks like. So there are general sets for observation and three variables. The variables is a method observation in Rx. And in case if you don't know about your uh, data, so you have to say show and write your data name, con. So you will give uh, three variables, as you see here is 44, 40, 34 observation, and at the same time, also we will have the method observation and Rx, that means three variable. And also you can type this question mark and you will ask what look like. So it is RSU design, it is non distributed, so ordinary, and only to test using through Corsical Wallis edge test method. So, coming to here, in order to, in order to go analysis, uh, you have to write the name, whatever you want. Here, you can give uh, any name that you want. So, then write this syntax, uh, this, uh, syntax with and our data name and the method. Uh, or the comparison methods that are going to test whether it is significant or not and also rx it is one of the variables that mentioned before you can also use observation and here is the method is our treatment and also the group true is equal to main is equal to con then console is equal to true then type all this syntax select and run so it will give the four methods the rx groups in case if you want to uh, check the observation. It's also one of the variables. So observation You can write here and you can type it will not create any problem So even you can check your observation here observation here, but uh, First let's see here. They are formatted uh, in case of uh, in, uh, in the case of the ranks so here we are uh, looking here, the post hoc analysis also here working. So let's go quickly to the RX group. So they are formatted and also there is mean separation or technique or it's differentiate whether it's significant or not by giving some letter letters. So let's back to our business and it's already, it is uh, RX, yeah. Then let's see also the P values by adjusting different um, uh, methods. For example, here I am using the Holland methods. Holland methods. But if you want someone, if you want to use different p adjustment technique, you can type here um, structure, structure. Then write the cross circle. Yeah, cross. Yeah, cross circle. Then run. So it will give you the full argument here. So I'm um, just select this one. If you want to select this one, you can uh, adjust anything. And one thing is over here is the in the case of crucial Wallis test, uh, edge test method, it will assign the alpha level 
by default is 0.05 so you can select the p adjustment method from this one one is named that is holland there is hommel there is Huckberg, benferroni ph by fdr whatever you want you can type this and also you can adjust your p value in order to see the comparison with respect to the, their treatment treatment so you can add this one also if you want and uh, uh, i am already used this one the whole method from uh, among this from among this uh, method i used uh, this one then let's run and let's check it is uh, comparison yeah it's already working so finally uh, i can also use here is the rx method then comparison within each treatment for example uh, there are four meters yeah so one with two one with three one with four again two with three two with four three with uh, uh, four so in order to do that you have to type print and out comparison then do this one so you can yeah you can get such results you'll get this, this result. For example, treatment, there is difference values between treatment 1 and 2, treatment 1 and 3, treatment 1 and 4, and again 2 is 3, 2 is 4, 3 with 4. So all are significant, uh, significantly affected. For example, for the treatment 1, 2 and treatment 1, 3, there is a significant, uh, and also for the treatment 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4 are extremely or highly uh, significant. So by this way, you can compare your mean uh, when your data is not normally distributed using the non-parameter technique, and among that, one is a critical method. So by this way, you can uh, compare your data in order to reach a conclusion. So if you have any question regarding the material, you can address through my email wagjiratasphone at gmail.com and uh, please uh, subscribe, share and provide your valuable comment and thank you for watching.